Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and I wanted to mention a little bit about solar viewing safety. Uh, if you do it right, it's completely safe. You can look at the, the surface of the sun uh, without any danger. But if you don't follow some kind of standard safety procedures, then it could actually be very dangerous. Because remember, a telescope is like a large magnifying glass, and you can collect the energy of the sun and focus it to a point, and it can melt parts of the inside of the telescope. It can damage your eye. You can burn yourself. So you just want to be careful when you're, when you're uh, using the telescope for solar viewing. The first thing you want to do is never leave the telescope alone unattended. So let's say I'm looking at the sun right now. Uh, it looks great. I've got the solar filter on. It's secure. Everything's great. Um, I can see sunspots. I'm having a great time. But let's say I want to go inside for a half hour and then come back a little later. Well, this is a Dobsonian telescope that may not be tracking. So the sun is going to be moving across the sky. Um, when it's right on axis and I can see it, everything's fine because the solar filter is protecting me. But let's say the sun moves over here. Well, now I have a truss tube telescope. There's no side walls. The sun the sunlight will enter through the side here, hit the mirror, and bounce up at an angle and be concentrated on the inside, somewhere like around here or over here, and it can actually melt the inside of the telescope and damage something. Uh, so you want to be very careful with that. Never leave it unattended. If you do have to go somewhere, move it into the shade or uh, uh, point the thing in the exact opposite direction so there's no way that the sun can reflect off that mirror anywhere. Another way, if you have a truss tube Dobsonian to protect yourself, is to use a shroud. This is like a large sock that fits over the open areas of the telescope, completely enclosing it in. It keeps the sun from entering at an angle, and it also works at night to keep extraneous light from entering the telescope. So a safe, effective way to shield the mirrors from sunlight. All right, so those are a few ways to make solar viewing safe and enjoyable. If you follow those procedures, you have nothing to worry about. And uh, again, you can have a very nice experience looking at the sun. Thank you very much. Clear skies.